A Christmas Eve fire has now engulfed over 150 houses in Chile as firefighters struggle to control the blaze. The fast-moving fires continue to burn through Christmas, in fact, in the coastal city of Valparaiso. Fire started in the hills surrounding the city but quickly spread to the residential areas. Fed by high summer temperatures and strong winds, the fire started in a forested area and spread to the city. Residents were forced to flee their homes in middle of Christmas Eve celebrations. Authorities are still evacuating the extent of the damage to the affected homes. Se reportan preliminarmente más de 150 viviendas con daño. Es importante considerar eh, que esta información es dinámica y se actualiza minuto a minuto de acuerdo a catastro en terreno. Firefighters are seen fighting the blaze, trying to rescue people. About 12 volunteer firefighters have been injured. No casualties have been reported yet. The visuals on the screen there show a firefighter rescuing a dog as the fire continues to engulf more houses in this area. Interior Minister Gonzalo Blumel has now said that while there has been a lot of progress in controlling the fire, it was not controlled, known for its colorful wood frame house. The city is very popular among tourists in the South American country. Meanwhile, southern Australia continues to battle bushfires on Christmas Day. A 25,000 hectare blaze has left the Adelaide Hills devastated. A watch and, wa and act warning remains in place for the region where fires have destroyed 84 homes and hundreds of other buildings, killing one person. A slightly milder conditions on Christmas Day and on Boxing Day has provided a breather for the country's fire service officials. But not for long, as a return to very hot weather has been predicted for the weekend. And in fact, uh, this is one of the busiest periods of the year for holidaymakers escaping the city for campgrounds, national parks and state forests. As of now, in fact, there are 74 active bush and grass fires in the state, almost 30 of which have not been contained. Meanwhile, members of the Salvation Army and volunteers were seen preparing a Christmas lunch for the firefighters before they headed out to fight the deadly fires. More than 1,700 uh, firefighters spent the Christmas Day on fire grounds in New South Wales and a further 700 were working on the fire relief efforts. We've had the opportunity to make it more Christmassy, so we're doing roast chicken and... and ham off the bone and cooked vegetables and gravy and, and pudding and, and custard and, you know, all that. So, so it'll be an opportunity for us to just help them to remember that it is Christmas Day. So. I saw the call out and I thought, you know what, it's the least I can do um, with the situation. So I was happy to quickly whip up um, a few dozen cupcakes and um, contribute. I haven't been able to hide my pride in the volunteers. The, just Im the efforts are immense. And for many of them, they've sacrificed a family Christmas uh, to come out and protect the lives and properties of strangers they'll never meet.